hello friends in this video i am going to explain about the reporting database in pega so what is the use of reporting database option or feature in pega okay we will discuss now before going to discuss about this option i just want to tell you uh, just some basic details about the report definition so my first question is how pega can fetch the data from a database table everybody knows by using the report definition or by using the uh, obj browse or by using the rdb methods etc that's okay but uh, by using the report definition we can also fetch the data from a database table everybody knows this point how pega can fetch the data by using the report definition means ultimately your report definition will be converted into a one sql query that sql query will triggered on the database table side and execute the sql query and fetch the data and my next question how pega can connect it to the database how pega can connect it to the database means in pega we have an option call it as a database rules in sysadmin there is an option there is a rule call it as a database here if you can open any one of the database rule this database rule usually contains about the database connection details because ultimately one application connected to the database means uh, that application must and should have the database connectivity details what is the host name what is the port number what is the username and what is the password and what is the database in the database server so all these database connection details are present in this database rule but here these details are not present because use configuration preferences so in in okay i am using pega 8.6 prpc personal edition go to the tomcat here if you can go to the conf and here if you can open the context.xml file in the context.xml file these are the database connection details are present because ideally sometimes these connection details are present in the database rule sometimes use configuration in preferences means uh, they are configured in the prconfig.xml file and prconfig.xml file is referring to this context.xml file okay so here if you can open this file here you can see the database details i already explained so many times in my previous videos okay now using this database rule pega will connect it to the database and trigger the appropriate sql query and can fetch the data so okay everybody knows this point but in the real time in the real time in the large enterprise applications clients especially clients especially more focus on the reports sometimes okay because reports are very very important for the business people so sometimes clients will raise a concern okay this report is giving the very poor performance this report is taking almost 5 minutes 6 minutes 10 minutes depends on the data for example your report contains a lakhs of records or your database table contains a millions of record so your report definition executing on the database table is obviously taking a time but uh, clients obviously clients raise a concern clients uh, does not care about all these technical points i need a better performance of this report okay then as a developer as a lsa what do you suggest what do you suggest okay some people will raise uh, okay we will use the sub reports okay that is one thing and some people will improve the performance by using the indexes okay uh some more where conditions okay etc but uh, there is a one more option in pega uh, at least uh, which can improve the performance of the reports which can improve the performance of the reports what is that option if you can open any one of the report definition if you go to the data access tab if you go to the data access tab here you can see the option call it as a use the database because here the data retrieval preference is prefer elastic search okay i want to make a separate video on that okay next option is use the database sir we know this point everybody used by default this option is selected because of that pega can fetch the data from a database table but here see this one reporting database here what is this reporting database if here 
you can see there are two options one is primary data source only and second one is prefer reporting data source if defined prefer reporting data source if prefer reporting data source if defined what is the difference between the, these two data sources that's we are going to discuss now prefer reporting data source if defined see ultimately in pega each and every call having a lot of database interactions each and every call having a lot of database interactions just for example if you can open any rule also for example let me show it uh, to you uh, let me open the tracer uh, in the settings uh, enable the sql where is the db query okay fine db query is there clear now what i am going to do i am just opening one one rule in pega that's it so you people are assuming okay just to opening a rule but what i am saying is a lot of database interactions will be happening at least uh, there are lot of sql queries will be triggered okay open the tracer here you can see how many number of sql queries is fired by the pega just for opening a rule okay i just want to keep it uh, okay now you can see okay see this one select statements sql queries so internally there are a lot of report definitions are getting executed okay see how many select queries are executed here and there is a one more select query and there is a select query and there is a select query so like this and see this one okay but uh, in the background pega will execute lot of sql queries on the database side okay what shall we do then so you try to understand so if we can divert or redirect some calls from main database source to the other alternative database automatically automatically the load on the database would be reduced because here may most of the sql queries are executing on the primary data source but uh, if your report definition generated sql query is executed on the a different database side then obviously there would be a chance to improve the performance of the report there would be a chance to improve the performance of the report that's why in the real time what some lss would suggest or some people can suggest is define a separate database for reports always your reports would be executed on the reports database on the reports database that means uh, that means uh, here i would create a one separate database rule where contains the database connection details for example okay uh, let me create a one separate database rule for reports just for testing here i would create a separate database rule which is a reports database and all my reports would be executed okay for example a uh, report db report db etc click on create and open uh here there are lot of options usually either you can use uh, connection details etc jdbc connection pool or jndi see jdbc connection url listed below jdbc connection or use configuration preferences etc now just click on save assuming assuming i created a one new database 
report db which contains the connection details of the database okay because i don't have a again i have to modify this context.xml file where i need to define all these details let it be now what i can do after this now the database rule is there now if you can open your report definition prefer reporting data source if defined but before talking about this option how the how the this report definition how this report definition will be executed on the database table side first of all you need to understand one more point here each and every class in pega is mapped to the one database table each and every class in pega is mapped to the one database table which is a concrete class which is a concrete class now if you can open see this one open a class record open a class record now here just click on test connection here this class is mapped to this database table this class is mapped to this database table and uh, this is under which database customer data database under which database customer data database if you are you can open this database class mapping record just open the database table see here here if you can open this one this database table class mapping what is the database customer data and what is the database table this is the table name that means uh, when you run this report definition because already you defined a one link between database versus report definition already you defined a one link between the database versus table sorry database versus report definition that means when you run this report definition this class is mapped to which database this database and this table is present in which database this database sir customer data yeah you can open the customer data it contains the connection details of the database connection details so ultimately what pega will do pega will connect it to the connection details present in the customer data and execute the sql query against this table execute the sql query against this table but here you can see one more option reports database so here for example report db if i define like this then when you run this report definition what will happen when you run this report definition what will happen then it will not run your sql queries on your primary database customer data it will run your sql queries on which database this report db this report db that means my intention is my intention is i don't want to send my database calls to my primary database i want to redirect at least these reports calls at least these reports calls to the a separate database which is only for the reporting purpose that means uh, this report database contains a limited number of tables where i can use for my reporting purpose uh, all my report definitions would be executed against this database that means uh, it will not hit this customer data it will hit this report db obviously the load on the customer data would be reduced would be reduced that means because you know right uh, executing the reports are obviously uh, when you run the report definition sometimes a lot of join conditions a lot of functions sql functions a lot of sub functions sub reports a lot of group by having conditions etc so when you running the sql query on the database right on the against the table if your table contains a millions of record obviously your report is taking longer than expected because client hesitate to load uh, because definitely clients I uh, will hesitate so obviously how can you improve the performance that's why the best option here is okay everyone can suggest okay we will create indexes we will create a, uh, where conditions we will apply more filter conditions okay we will use the sub reports to avoid and too many join conditions etc etc that's okay all are one side another side is i want to create a separate database where i can send my report definition calls that means all of my report definitions would be executed against this database that means 
that means the load would be definitely reduced obviously the performance improvement of the report definition would be more so this is one of the option provided by the pega because usually lss would suggest uh, so use reporting database that's why nowadays see when you open the report definition also by default the option is by default the option is prefer reporting data source if defined prefer reporting data source if defined for example primary data source check out save okay so sometimes it will generate a warning use the reporting database okay use the reporting database uh, sorry reporting data source if defined so that's why in your database table class mapping uh, you must define the reports database whenever you want to prefer to execute your sql queries on the reports database side not a primary data source side see lot of calls will be happen to the database lot of calls that's why i don't want to i don't want to uh, i'm sorry i want to reduce the load my on my primary data source uh, i want to divert some reports sql queries to the my reports in database so always uh, i would suggest to use this reports database option in pega whenever you want to improve the performance of the reports the next question who will create a tables uh, on the reports database side ideally whenever you create a table whenever you create a table by default it will be created in your primary data source but who will create this uh, table on the reports db is it automatically created it won't create it automatically you have to create manually and you have to move the data from primary data source to the uh, this reports data source who will do that uh, the database administrator will create the synchronization the database administrator will do the synchronization between your primary data source versus your reports data source that means one transaction is created on the primary data source tables so which would be reflected automatically on the reports data source database tables that's why the same data is present from the primary data source to the reports data source which is nothing but a data synchronization between the databases data synchronization between the databases because sorry databases in the sense schemas because this is a one schema and this is the another schema okay so that database administrator will take up will take care of it but i would suggest to use the reports database to improve the performance of the reports i hope you understand this option thank you